It is the final regular season home game for the Cougars tonight on this Friday afternoon edition of Cougar Puck Radio. As the Cougars, who sit fourth in the OK Roo, open up their season series against the Panthers with two days left in the season. Starting old tenders tonight for the Catholic Center for the West Ottawa Panthers. They send out Gavin Mulcher, th who through seven games has a record of two and five. A uh, save percentage of 837 and a goals against average of 506. Meanwhile, the Catholic Central Cougars turn to their reliable starting netminder Lucas Chalfoon, who through seven games has posted a 3 and 4 record, a save percentage of 882, and a goals against average of 421. On well, Catholic Central, we'll move from right to left here on your radio to Iowa in the home white uniforms, blue shoulders, blue and yellow, trim blue pants, and white socks. While the West Ottawa Panthers will move from left to right wearing their uh, road black uniforms with silver and white trim, black pants and black socks. And we are underway here at Southside Ice Arena. We'll be on Shively. So with 6.39 to go. Usually it's Liam Watt getting called for those because of his size. That is the, that is the problem with being one of the tallest kids on the Catholic Central team. So that will result in a Panther power play. They'll work it right side. At the point, Marsloff across to Dunn. Dunn will backhand that down into the corner. Trevor Rubline read it before his man did, but he's tied up along the half wall. Jake Nietzsche pulls it up. Now they pass it into the slot. It comes free to Dunn, right wing. Circle scores! He snapped it past the left side of Catholic Central, and the 90% penalty kill is 90% for a reason. The Cougars. All right, taken out on the power play, a power play goal for Cam Dunn. Pass, and don't have to re regroup. Cougars back in their own end. Here in this third period, wearing the white uniforms, blue shoulders, blue and yellow trim. Pass across the way to nobody in particular. A miscommunication there. Pass off the boards, taken by Watt. Oh, drop pass, but Drew Schweigert couldn't couldn't get there in time. Now across the way, multiple players converge. They come out of it, a shot save, and the rebound, listen, let's go! Liam Watt, tie game! Let's go! Catholic Central tying it up at 9.55 of the third! Well, it was a quick shot by Liam Watt that found his way in the net. And we got ourselves a tie game. A great play by Watt. That Extends his point streak to three straight games. He scored in the FHC game. He scored in the Granville game on Wednesday. And he scores here tonight. A big one to tie up the hockey game. What across the line. Works into the left circle. Taken down. Working behind Catholic Central. Now a little bit of momentum swinging in their favor here. They work into the left wing corner. Now a penalty coming up here on Liam Watt. He let an elbow up on his man and Watt will hand to the penalty box for elbowing. By the fourth check at Andrew Wormuth. That has been one thing that the Cougars have done all year. Just harassing teams in the offensive zone with on the offensive zone on penalty kills and just forcing them to keep in there. And Andrew Wormuth has been one of those players that has been instrumental in doing just that. Moving out, done, left, left to right here across that line into the circle, a shot, score! Cam Rendon, his second goal of the night and his second on the power play, breaks the, breaks the score, breaks the 1-1 one -one tie. It is 2-1, West Ottawa. Yeah, this is a quick snipe. From Cameron Dunn. That's what he's been doing best this year, and that's why he leads his team. He's on Catholic Central here, who's before this had a stellar power play. Lucas Chalfoon going to the bench now. That empty two all right. Sixth attacker on for Catholic Central in the form of Grant Clakendall. Warmoth picks it up, moves it down low. Cougars control up to the pass, up to the point. Rubline will let a shot go. That was wide, and the rebound off, this, off the end boards. Clakendall. Trying to pick up the puck across the way. 30 seconds to go. Up to the point. Patterson will step into it. A shot deflected in front. That went wide. Th 22 seconds to go. They play in the corner. 
Puck free behind the net. Quakendall controls. Up to the point. Patterson with a quarter of a minute. Back to Quakendall. Quakendall works in the center. Shot save and the rebound. Loose and fun. Couldn't be controlled by Catholic Central. Ten seconds to go. Cougars. Liam Watt controls a lot of shot kill. That was loose to the side of that. To Rubino. Step into what a shot. And into the glove of Melcher with 1.8 to go. With delays. Players are creeping in on the circle. One by the by the Panthers and that'll do it. The Panthers knock off the Catholic Central Cougars and tie them in the standings in the OK Rue. Point wise, Catholic Central manages to keep their fourth place by the amount of games.